Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here, your continued love and support here on the channel. I appreciate and love you guys so much. And today's pick a card reading we are doing, I think I probably have done this one um, before, but we're going to do what is the next chapter of your love life. Okay, so we're going to kind of be looking into um, whatever it is that Spirit is willing to share with us today about the next chapter of your love life. Um, and if there's anything that comes through that's a little bit, you know, unclear, I will certainly clarify uh, the energies as I normally do for those of you that are familiar. Okay, for those of you that would like to book a private reading with me, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking uh readings with me okay so pile one um we have this and i believe i want to call it amethyst and i think i'm going to do so for the purpose of this pick a card however i think i remember when i bought it <clears throat> it was something other than amethyst okay <laughs> i think it was something that had like i don't know something that had different crystals in it like multiple different crystals in it i can't remember if it was a super seven or something i don't know it had some fancy name but i'm just gonna for for today since it is uh purple i'm just gonna call it amethyst okay so we have this little piece here okay that is going to be for pile number one And pile two, we have a orange calcite, an orange calcite. And pile number three, we have a phosphatorite heart. that is for pile number three so the next chapter of your love life okay if you do feel drawn to you know more than one of the crystals today the piles today um you know go ahead and go with whatever your intuition is telling you okay do keep in mind this is a general reading so not all the messages that come through may be for you only take what resonates what fits what makes sense Okay, sometimes, especially with us asking about future energies, sometimes this could be something that maybe doesn't make sense right now, but it certainly could weeks from now or months down the line where you're like, aha, uh -huh, that's what she was talking about. Um, I see it now. Okay, <clears throat> so the next chapter of your love life, pile number one, pile number two. Pile number three. Timestamps will be down below for you guys, and I will see you at your reading. Hello, pile one. So I, th I think I actually it is. I think a super seven. So I'll probably put both names, super seven and amethyst, because amethyst is one of the crystals that is in super seven. But I just had to look it up really quick. Okay. So today we're looking at the next chapter of your... Uh, love life and I think I'm going to save these big oracle cards for the end so we'll put these off to the side for a second so we can look at the rest of your cards so let's start with these little ones okay so we have snapdragon and it says, gracious and benevolent, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Okay, so we have the snapdragon. We have the tarantula. We have the broom. Let's pull this one. 
Okay, so we have cut ties. Interesting. And you have the broom here. Cut ties and the broom. We have the spirits of water. I'm going to have to cover her up a little bit. So the spirits of water. I will edit that one a little bit. Mm. I have to put something there too. Okay. So the spirits of water. We have the four of pentacles. We have the two of swords. The magician. We have the seven of pentacles. And we have guidance. Okay. So the next chapter of your love life. This this absolutely does look like you are doing some clearing here. Because we do have the broom. And we have cut ties. And I think I'm going to have to cover this a little bit too. Unfortunately. Okay, yeah. So I'm, I'm seeing here with the Four of Pentacles energy. This is about attachment, holding or clinging on to something. And with the Seven of Pentacles, and I feel like you're being guided in this next chapter of your love life, okay? Regardless of what your situation is, married, uh, dating, friends with benefits, situationship, third parties, single, okay? We have this energy of clearing here that I'm seeing with the broom and also the cut ties here. So I feel like in this next chapter of your love life here, you are being guided by spirit to almost like take your power back. Okay. So if you're single and there's not really anybody in the picture currently, this more or less would be you cutting ties and kind of clearing energy. Um, the Spirits of Water card also talks about purification, but it does kind of give me that Queen of Cups, King of Cups type of vibe. So it has to do with our emotions, our intuition, love, compassion, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. But the Seven of Pentacles energy is when we kind of take a pause, okay, to reassess and reevaluate. And I feel like what you're being guided to do in this next chapter of your love life is at what are you holding on to? If there's anything that you're clinging on to, specifically if it has to do to the past or to anything or anyone, any situations that do not serve you. Okay. Now, if you're single and, and you know, you, you've, you've cut ties with people in the past and you don't really have any of that going on, I would say more or less than this might be within your own energy. Okay. If there's any uh, patterns of behaviors, beliefs, um, self-limiting beliefs, self-sabotaging thoughts that you have surrounding love. This is almost like this purification um, process I feel like that you're going through. Okay. If there's any attachments or um, that you have that are unhealthy. Okay. This is where you are taking some time to reflect inwards because I'm also seeing the two of swords energy here and that two of swords is when we are feeling confused when we're feeling stuck um when we have conflicting thoughts or ideas in our mind so yeah and I feel like for many of you this could be certainly taking like I said, taking some time to think about who you're involved with currently. And if you are, and if you're already married, you're in a long-term relationship, of course, that guidance, you know, is a little bit different for you. You have to do with what you feel guided to at this time. But I feel like it's spirit kind of wanting you to take an honest assessment 
of whether or not who you are giving your time, your energy into, if you're still happy, do you still feel fulfilled? Because if you do not feel that way, and especially for those of you where you've, you felt like, okay, I'm, I'm, my connection is, is stagnant. Um, my partner's complacent. Nothing's really changing here. Um, that you were taking some time to think about whether or not you should be cutting ties with someone. Okay. Now, for those of you, like I said, where you're, you're, you're not really have associated with anybody from your past and you're open for a new love. This to me, like I said, is more or less about work on the self. Um, where you spend your time thinking um, with regard to love. Are there a lot of negative thoughts, self-sabotaging thoughts? Because the Four of Pentacles can also be when we are closed off, okay? So if you are someone who's closed off and you're really looking for a change in your love life in this next chapter, we are embodying that energy of the spirits of water, which I said this to me is kind of very much like Queen of Cups, King of Cups type of energy. Um, there is an emphasis here on purification, Okay, with what I'm seeing here with the broom, the cut ties, and the spirits of water. Um, the magician is also here, which is a beautiful and powerful energy, um, which is about manifestation. It's about you using the tools that you have within yourself, embodying and stepping into your power to manifest the love that you desire. And for many of you, that might be, you know, your your person, your soulmate, your unconditional love, you know, a partner who is emotionally open, receptive, balanced, nurturing, sensitive, kind, compassionate, empathetic, um, one that you feel, you know, maybe even intuitive connection with this person. Okay. And the, for those of you that have say like a current ongoing situation right now, and you really kind of feel because this is what I'm feeling you're being guided to do is to take that honest assessment of whether or not you should continue to invest your time and energy into that. Because as you, for some of you, making the choice to step away, this is opening up your path to invite in someone who is more in alignment with you. Okay? I want to see what that little tarantula is about. So let me look in this in this little guidebook that has, if I can see, let's see, where is the tarantula? Okay, so it says making a choice, thinking about all possible outcomes, deciding carefully and with use of clear judgment. So interesting. And then we also have graciousness and benevolence. You know, and for some of you that may be gracefully walking away from a situation, gracefully cutting ties with someone, doing what is best for your highest good. Okay. But yes, clearly an emphasis for you, pile number one, in this next chapter of your love, love life of cutting ties with Maybe for some of you, any stagnant situations, because this can also indicate stagnancy. Okay. If you've been holding on to situations that are not progressing, not moving forward, again, you're being instructed here to take back your power and to align yourself, okay, with the love that you desire here. So many of you could be manifesting new love in your life in this next chapter. Okay. Take some time. I feel like to reflect upon any old belief systems, attachments to people from the past, feelings, emotions, things of which you may have even suppressed. It's a lot of clearing here, clearing out clutter, whether that's in the mind, in the heart. And if you are someone who's dealing with the current situation and you're feeling confused about whether or not you should hold on or you should let go, 
the two of swords is a need for us to connect with our intuition that is here what you're being guided to do is to receive that guidance from within and we have interesting we have sage here okay so not only is that you know talking about this plant sage but i also see the sage as someone who's very wise right and you truly have that wisdom within the self about what needs to happen what needs to change um for your journey with with love here okay okay so let's look at these last or these three cards here and Hmm. I feel like I might, maybe we should do that first. Let's look at this cut ties a little bit. What tarot deck am I going to use? Let's go with this one here. Okay. So what is this about cutting ties for you? Why is this significant to this next chapter of your love life? Why is cutting ties here? I'm going to move your crystal up here. Why is cutting ties important for this next chapter of your love life? We have judgment. Interesting. And the queen of wands. Yes. So like I said, for many of you, this is kind of like taking back your power here. Okay. Standing in your power. The queen of wands is also about us feeling passion, desire, going after what it is that we truly want here. So with judgment, judgment could certainly be us making a major life decision. Okay. For some of you, judgment is where we release our past. Um, it is what we awaken. We awaken to also what our soul's truth is, our soul's calling. So many of you, your soul could be calling you at this time for this next chapter of your love life in order for you to start fresh new chapter that we're releasing people, situations, ways of thinking, pain, grief, sadness, uh, uh, all of these heavy feelings, emotions, regret, guilt, shame, humiliation, anger, resentment, okay, that is kind of creating this energetic attachment to a person, to a situation that we're still holding on to. So judgment is kind of like us going through this rebirth process, right? Back to purification here. And I'm noticing how this eye here, there's like all this looks like energy coming right out of the eye. So for some of you, <clears throat> because judgment is also about life review, okay? So we're kind of reviewing the past situations, maybe an, a current situation that you're dealing with right now in order to make the best possible decision you can make for yourself? Is it better to, you know, close this out and start fresh and new, <clears throat> which this kind of looks like what spirit is having you do here is do some, 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 I was gonna say some housework, <laughs> some cleaning work, right? Some cleaning work. We're, we're clearing out the old energies. We're releasing attachments and we're freeing ourselves from the burdens that we're still carrying with certain people, certain situations. Okay. This is also about us integrating what we've learned from these past experiences, what they've taught us, how we can then integrate that moving forward into this next chapter um, of our love life. Okay. Or your love life. I also want to look at the magician here. So I'm just going to put this over. Let's look at this magician here, which is more or less about you manifesting here. Magician. And I will say this, those of you that are, you know, in marriages, in long-term relationships, if there are things from your past that have shown to you that they have created issues, insecurities within your marriage, within your relationship. This is also where you are being guided to 
take a look at what energy you're bringing into your connection, right? And if we can, you know, let's just say ex-partners, right, that haven't been so nice, not so great to you, and we're noticing that this is creating insecurities, right? With, with the marital partner, with, with your spouse, with your long-term partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, someone you're dating. Can we look towards releasing these things that are creating blockages, that are creating resistance, that are creating fear, insecurity, so that you yourself right you're, you're kind of taking accountability for your own energy and what you bring to the table but also for you to kind of in a way purify your own energy clear it and you coming in as that spirit of water open receptive to love okay so this may you be you kind of working towards clearing your own energy, right? So that you can be more open to receiving the love your partner is trying to give to you. And of course, you know, it's, it's a, it has to happen on both sides, okay? And if you're willing to do the inner work and the healing and the working on yourself and the evolving into a better version of yourself, is your partner wanting to do the same? And that might be a conversation, right, that you have with that person if, if there is, for some of you, a connection that's gotten complacent, stagnant. Um, you know, where maybe for some of you, this is spicing things up a little bit, uh, bringing the passion back. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see here. What is this magician energy? The page of cups. Yes. Yeah, some of you are manifesting new love here. New love coming in for you. Okay. If you're open to receive it. With some of you could be manifesting new love. Look at that. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are manifesting a life partner here. Some of you, this might be like, especially if you're, you know, you're you're in your marriage and you're staying with your partner or you're in a long-term relationship. This can look like renewing your love with this person. Okay. It could be being more lovey dovey, being more sweet, being more kind, more loving towards one another. You know, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So for those of you where this is, you know, ma manifesting new love here, some of you could be manifesting your life partner, your spouse. Okay, there could be for some of you engagement, marriage proposals coming in in this next chapter. And again, sometimes this means, right, when we're being guided to kind of clear energy here, it's because spirit is trying to help us to align with something better. Okay, so for some of you, you know, you could certainly be feeling that already intuitively, like, okay, this, this situation isn't really serving me. It hurts to let go, but it might be better too in the long run because I'm opening myself up to something uh, better here. Okay. And I'm seeing the Knight of Cups at the bottom. So yeah, some of you, this is, and Hierophant is right underneath that. Okay. And Six of Wands, which is about success, victory, some of you could be, you know, maybe letting someone go that doesn't value you, doesn't appreciate you, does not see your worth, and spirit is bringing in someone better. Okay, the Hierophant can talk about a traditional type of, of commitment, relationship, meaning two people who live together, two people who, you know, are entering into a long-term relationship, somebody who wants to get married, somebody who is wanting a family, if that's what you're wanting here. Okay, but this is what is to look forward to in the next chapter of your love life. And like I said, it's for some of you that are, you know, already married and happy. Um, no judgment for you watching this reading, but um, but I, I feel like you could certainly be renewing your love. Okay, renewing your love. Um, if that is something that you're choosing to do. And if, if not, right, we've got, we've got new love coming in here. And for some of you, this is very serious, very serious connection, relationship. Something very loving, very romantic. Okay. So let's look at your three uh, last cards here. Pile one. We have physical touch. And it says a tender touch can mean so much. Okay. 
So maybe for some of you, this could be, you know, certainly with a person or um, if you are someone who your, your love language is physical touch, this is the way in which you feel loved and appreciated and valued. Um, I don't know. This kind of reminds me of Knight of Cups right here. <laughs> This little, this guy who's kind of bended on his knee here, kissing her hand. It's very sweet, very romantic, okay? Um, we have miracles and blessings. It says everything has its gift. Right? So everything has its gift. To me, you know, not only is this for some of you that are kind of bringing in new, manifesting new love here. But it's also understanding that the situations that are painful, the situations that are challenging, these are also ones that can create the growth if you're open to it, right? If you're open to that growth. There can certainly be a gift in that as well. Right. Sometimes there are certain connections that teach us self-love and sometimes in painful ways. When we go through those experiences with other souls that teach us to have speak up for ourselves, to set boundaries, to be more discerning. Although when we're going through it at the time, it might not seem so great. But this is basically a spirit saying here, everything has its gift. Everything has its purpose. Everything has something that we can gain from that experience here okay so you also have miracles and blessings here in this next chapter of your love life and this is number 13 which is also about change and transformation so i feel like this is spirit kind of giving you confirmation here for you to expect some big change in this next chapter of your love life okay some of you are moving forward into stability okay we've got number 47 here balance okay some of you this is karmic justice meaning that if if you've gone through say like the ringer in love time and time again right taking that time to think about what we've learned purifying clearing we're creating and opening the doorway in a sense for spirit to bring in something that we're deserving of that you are worthy of, okay? Especially for those of you where you're needing to move away from a person or situation that's not the greatest for you. There's movement into stability here. And your last message here says forgiveness. It says nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. And that is part of this here. And that may look like forgiving yourself, forgiving others, releasing grudges, releasing resentment, releasing the anger, the pain, the heartache. Not suppressing, but working through it. Allowing yourself to work through your feelings, your emotions, your pain, honoring it. And then purifying and clearing your energy here. Okay? And then we have number 29 here. So for some of you, this may look like, you know, being guided to spend some time in solitude. Especially if you're going to be moving on from something. Just taking that little bit of time for yourself. Okay? Being guided inwards to really reflect here. Okay. So I think I want to pull a little bit more with this guidance here to close out your reading. So any other messages here for pile number one? We have the seven of wands. For some of you, this is standing your ground. Okay, not backing down once you're making the decision, especially for those of you who are going to be cutting ties with someone. It's important for you to stick to what it is that you want. And if that person is someone who's not willing to bend, right, and, and give that to you and not being open and receptive, it certainly does not mean that you're not worthy of it. This is you continuing to set boundaries with people who are not in alignment with you and moving through them. Okay or away we 
We have the Five of Pentacles. Some of you may be healing feelings of lack, emptiness, void, desperation, abandonment, rejection. Okay? Some of you might have a fear of rejection of saying, I don't want to let go of what I have right now because I don't want to be alone. Okay, in which this is where spirit is saying here, this may be working on your self-esteem, working on your self-worth. Some of you being guided to really work towards healing any abandonment wounds rejection wounds let's see what else some of you I feel like you're not your needs are not being met okay your needs are not being met or maybe have not been met in the past and there's a need for you to see that queen of cups Yeah, so I feel like you're being called to nurture the self. Some of you, this can be focusing on self-love. Okay, self-love, self-care. Um, stabilizing your own emotions here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave this reading here for you, pile number one. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, pal two. So those of you that resonated with the orange calcite, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out about the next chapter of your love life. Okay. We're going to save these three right here till the end. And then we're going to look at your other cards first, just to kind of get a feel for what is going on here. Let's start with these small ones first. I think these are, might go on the bottom. Okay, so let's see. Pile two, next chapter of your love life. Okay, so we have the Shadow Queen. The Shadow Queen. We have Mort Bell. Hmm. No. We have the pansy and it says sweet thoughts. It says pray you love, remember. And there are pansies. That's for thoughts. Pray you love, remember, and there are pansies. That's for thoughts. Okay. Let's see. Let's put one of these up here. We've got the Four of Cups. We have Desire. Balanced Emotions. The Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay, now, you know, the way that I'm going to kind of show this energy here, the read this energy here, all of you are going to be in very different situations. Some of you are single, some of you are married, some of you are in third party situations or even fourth, fifth party <laughs> situations. Um, some of you, it's, you know, situationships, friends with benefits, regardless, okay, of what your situation is. And I want you to also keep in mind that with 
this next chapter of your love life, how much you are in control of what you choose to allow into your life. You have the power to walk away. You have the power to say no. You have the power to decide, right? Who you want to give your time and energy to. Now, what this energy kind of looks like to me is that those of you that are single, okay, I'm going to start with that. Those of you that are single and there's nobody, nobody, okay, nobody that you're entertaining, I feel like this next chapter of your love life may be one that is a little slow to progress, okay? Now, you might find yourself in situations with people that are either super slow movers, okay? People who end up rejecting, people who end up putting in the bare minimum, okay? I also want you to keep in mind that this may even be situations that turn out where you are the person who's also maybe pushing certain people away. Okay, this can go kind of vice versa. Because, and I feel like for some of you, this may be because your energy is still affected by past situations. I'm feeling that there may be certain things that you're needing to put to rest from your past. And so it kind of feels like there is this desire for love. But some of you might even feel like, I don't like the people who are coming towards me. Um, and, and I feel like that is because the Four of Cups, when we're in that type of energy, this can be when we are kind of dwelling over things from the past. Almost to the point where we could be closing ourselves off. So I do feel like it's during this next chapter of your love life, it might be a little rocky for you. It might kind of feel like I'm trying to put myself out there. I'm trying to be open to love. I'm trying to balance my emotions. I want love. I'm trying to stay positive. But you might start to notice a little bit of these maybe even negative thoughts that kind of creep in. Okay, some of you might also be that, that person in your love life who is just taking it slow. Maybe you are still healing from something, you know, because I feel like there's kind of like this eagerness to start something new. Like, okay, I, I feel like I'm ready. I feel good. I'm trying, I'm working, I'm still working on my healing. You know, I, I feel like some of you are going through some some transformation right now. And it, and it kind of feels like for you, it's kind of like being in that in-between space of moving on, letting go, healing. And it kind of feels like your heart is telling you, okay, we're, we're still hurt. And we're trying to move forward. And it, and it kind of makes me feel like you could be, you know, just kind of dipping your toe out there and seeing, okay, what's here, what's out there. But it kind of makes me feel like there's still this energy within you that is saying, uh, I don't know if I'm quite ready yet. I don't know. So I feel like you could very well be in this, and if that's you, right, that this could very well be this next chapter of your love life where you are really working towards releasing okay because I truly feel like the desire for love is there like I want love I want to be in love I want to find my person I want you know all of that all of the thoughts that are there um and you might feel like okay I, I don't know if I'm really ready for commitment yet I don't I you might be the person who's the slow mover here just taking it slow slow and steady right now being careful, right, with maybe for some of you with being vulnerable again, 
putting yourself out there because this could certainly be where you are kind of a little closed off. And even if there are certain people that spirit kind of brings in, you're like, nope, don't like that one. <laughs> I don't like that one. I don't like this one. I don't, I don't, maybe I'm not ready yet. Okay. But I feel like you want love, but some of you are just kind of, maybe there's a little bit of a struggle here with feeling like I'm, I don't know if I can, am I ready to move forward? Okay. So even with this energy of snow here, which just intuitively, when I think of snow, I think of still, I think of quiet, I think of not a whole lot happening. Okay. I want to look at that and see. Okay. So it says represents calm, stillness, and purification. There is potential for a new beginning. Potential for a new beginning. Okay, now for those of you where you're involved, okay, in a situation, this is kind of where things get a little tricky because I feel for you, there is a desire for something more. And for some of you, you could be dealing with a person or a situation who is either breadcrumbing you, moving so slow to the point where Spirit could be trying to get your attention about other opportunities that are out there for you, okay? Because sometimes the Four of Cups can talk about us having a blind spot, something that we're not seeing, because the Four of Cups can also be rejection. When another person is not emotionally available for us, or you could even be in a situation where this next chapter is you're attracting emotionally unavailable people. Okay. And where I was kind of giving that disclaimer in the beginning is I want you guys to keep in mind that you choose, you choose who you allow in, you choose who you invest your time and energy into. So if there is right, and you're ready for love, and you're ready to settle down and you're ready for commitment, and the person that come towards you is not that you have the power to say no, you have the power to move on, right? And not be a part of that situation where you get yourself, you, you, you're being led on, or you're kind of staying in this place of false hope. Okay, so and for those of you where this is like you're already in a committed relationship, you're already married, there may be a desire for an emotional connection elsewhere. Some of you might be feeling indifferent towards your spouse, towards your partner. You might be feeling bored. You might be feeling like my emotional needs are not being met. Okay. You might be feeling like I want to change here. I want something different. And for, of course, first and foremost, you want to talk to your partner, right? And say, okay, I'm not, I'm not, my needs are not being met here. Uh, I'm not feeling loved. I'm not feeling appreciated by you and have that conversation with your partner. And if that person, if this is something that you've already brought up to this person and that person is not doing anything to change or they say they're going to change and that change lasts all but a week or two and then it goes right back to how it used to be. This is where I feel like you're needing to also think about what you want for the long term. Right? Because for some of you, this could be where spirit is saying, hey, you do have an opportunity for a new beginning here. You can create a change here. Right? Some of you could be dealing with a person in this next chapter where they continue to reject the idea of moving the connection forward or making solid progress and only breadcrumbing you or only putting in the bare minimum. So again, that choice is yours. Do you want to continue on with that in this next chapter? Or do we decide to let that go? Because I feel for many of you with the desire here, the Queen of Cups, you know, there truly is a desire for love. Love and being in love and being loved. Um, so I do want to look a little bit at that Shadow Queen because I don't know what that card is about. Let's see. Shadow Queen. Let's see if I can find this. Mm. 
Okay, here it is. So the Shadow Queen is about your inner radar, sensitivity, and the shadow. It says the Shadow Queen can be an intense avatar to work with. She portrays the deep and dark part of our psyche that needs to be faced. A shadow silently lurking in our subconscious. Have messages been showing up in your dreamscape? They could be appearing to help you uncover a hidden aspect of yourself. Self-reflection or outside guidance may shed some light on these darker places. The Shadow Queen has acute sensitivity and this card speaks to an ability to see deeply beyond ordinary reality. Aspects that can only be perceived with our inner radar. This oracle says there may be something concealed in the situation which you are sensing. Mind your next step as you will need more details before proceeding. You may have to wait as a resolution emerges. It can feel unsettling to remain in the dark, but this is the Shadow Queen's realm. Have patience and trust your gut before making your final decision. This card is like the Tarot's Devil and Judgment card merged together. Wow, interesting. Which says that you will need to make the ultimate decision to transform yourself or your situation. You were on the edge of realization and change, but there is still something that is holding you back. Something within your shadow needs to be recognized and examined. We must not shrink from our shadow if we hope to experience transformation and growth. Which habits are hurting you right now? This could be keeping you from realizing your best potential. If we're making the same mistakes frequently, it's because our shadow self is not getting acknowledged or recognized. This is the time for a hard look and honest assessment. The Shadow Queen isn't afraid to plumb the depths of her subconscious. She says you shouldn't be either. For the Shadow is no stranger, but an intimate part of your being. If we can work with it and acknowledge it, we can achieve growth. Okay? So, I feel for many of you, this may be a need, especially for those of you that are involved in situations right now. Okay? And there's a need for you to kind of really deep dive into your inner knowing uh, for that guidance that is coming from within the self about maybe a current situation that you're dealing with, especially for those of you where you are kind of on the receiving end of rejection, abandonment, um, a person who's breadcrumbing you, maybe, uh, you know, if there, if there's boredom here. And for those of you where you're involved, right, in a relationship, you're married, and there is underlying feelings here of boredom, of emotional detachment that you have from your partner, that can also be something that your intuition is signaling to you is, hey, you're not happy here, right? Your emotional needs are not being met, okay? I would also say for those of you that are single and there's nobody, no, nothing going on, okay, this may more, more or less be you kind of reflecting within your own shadow. Are there certain aspects of yourself that you have hidden away? Uh, too afraid to be yourself is there insecurities that are okay so this may be also where you take some time to nurture yourself right to pay attention to messages that are coming in from spirit maybe for some of you this is working on balancing and grounding uh, your own emotions here so that this new beginning and love in this next chapter which is accessible to anyone right regardless of what your situation is that new beginning is something that is accessible because once we're letting go right of something that maybe we feel doesn't serve us or something that we're not happy with any longer that new beginning is an opportunity for anyone it's accessible to everyone okay so let me just light this candle really quick and then we're going to i think i want to clarify What do I want to look at? I, I feel like we're going to look at that Four of Cups. Okay, so for some of you, there could be maybe a blind spot. Maybe there's something that you're not seeing that Spirit is wanting you to see as we move into this next chapter of your love life. So let's look at this. And I'm also seeing in this Desire card here too, there's like a magic lamp. 
So some of you, this might even be where spirit is kind of guiding you towards manifesting your dream here. And for some of you, this can may even be working on self-love, working on being more open, receptive, <clears throat> uh, starting fresh and new, working on trying to be more open, especially for those of you where you've, you know, you've been hurt and the walls might be up. This maybe this next chapter is you learning to be more comfortable again and, and feel comfortable with being vulnerable and, and really kind of giving certain people, certain connections a chance Sometimes that when we're not quite ready yet, there could be people that come in and we're just automatically like, no, walls are up, shut down. No, pushing them away energetically. Like we appear closed off and then people are questioning like, are you, are you, do you want this? Okay. All right, let's see. Or like I said, for some of you could very well be attracting people who are emotionally unavailable. And that again is a need to just kind of reassess what is going on within our shadow. What is going on within our own subconscious? Are there any self-limiting beliefs that are there? Okay. With, with, with self-esteem, with insecurities that might be attracting people who are emotionally unavailable. Or are reasons for which we are attracted to people that are emotionally unavailable. All right, let's see. What is this Four of Cups here? We have the seven of cups. Yeah, some of you might be, okay, needing to explore other options. Some of you might be needing to kind of wake yourself out of some type of fantasy or illusion, okay? There could be an illusion of something, of love that you're in, especially if you have an ongoing situation where the person isn't investing in you, is rejecting, is breadcrumbing you, something that's not steadily progressing, Right? There could be an illusion surrounding that connection that spirit is trying to get your attention with. Where is the Four of Cups here? So take it how it resonates. Like I said, all of you are going to be in different situations here. You know, and those of you that are, say, bored, right? In a, in a marriage or in a relationship. And that Seven of Cups could be like, I'm fantasizing about love. <laughs> I'm fantasizing here. And spirit could be saying to you subconsciously like, hey, this new beginning is possible for you. Of course, it's up to you, right? Like I was saying in the beginning, for you to choose where you invest your time and energy into, who you invest it into. What is this four of cups here? The fool. Yeah, some of you, maybe this is, you know, fantasizing about it, dreaming about it. And spirits like, just take the leap of faith already, right? Open up yourself to new love. Those of you that are, that are just kind of like fighting within yourself. Like I really, I, I dream about love. I imagine, you know, finding my partner, my person, but I'm too afraid to put myself out there again. Of course, you know, you're, you're being guided to, to do that when you're ready, right? When you feel like you're ready to receive, but some of you might also be needing like that encouragement to kind of release things that you're holding on to and, and holding you back from starting new. Some of you might be needing to take that leap of faith into that new beginning, especially if you're feeling like your emotional needs are not being met in a situation. Okay. So the new beginning there with the fool and the queen of cups here. So some of you could certainly be got the queen of cups here twice. And I'm seeing the Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom. So some of you, this may even look like a lot of work on the self. Okay? A lot of work that you might be doing in this next chapter of your love life where you're putting, a, investing a lot of time into self-mastery, into bringing yourself into a balanced emotional state, right? Where you do feel open and ready to receive the love that you are meant to receive. So this may be a lot of, you know, uh, self-improvement, Okay, that many of you are doing. And for those of you that are, you know, married and, and saying, okay, I've been emotionally checked out of this relationship for a long time, maybe that means that you're shifting your focus back towards your partner again and you are honestly committing yourself to improving that relationship. Okay, so it's going to be different messages for all of you. 
some of you may be feeling kind of like that feeling of like the grass, maybe the grass is greener somewhere else and someone outside of maybe, I don't know, maybe it's somebody from work and you're, and you're married and you're, or you're in a relationship and there's somebody that's hot at work and you're fantasizing all about, right? That other, uh, that other person, that other thing and, and kind of like the whole grass is greener. Now, yes, you know, you have an opportunity here to open yourself up to new love, but has that issue with uh, feeling bored or emotional needs not being met in the relationship, has that been addressed with the partner? Okay. If it has already, like I said, and, and the person's not doing anything about it, then have at it. <laughs> Maybe this is you kind of taking that leap of faith and saying, you know what? No, I'm going to move on from this situation and I'm going to put myself first, my emotional needs first, my mental health first. And I'm going to open myself up to new love, new opportunities, start fresh, start new, take it nice and slow and put myself out there. Okay. All right. So let's look at these last three cards that you have here. Pile number two, the next chapter of your love life. We have vulnerability. Okay. So beautiful. We've got both queen of cups here, two different decks. So maybe leaning into your feminine energy a little bit more. Okay. Leaning into it to, to, to creating, I feel like a more stable, balanced energy for yourself because it does require us to be vulnerable, to connect with another, right? It does require us. And that may also be that when we're in that space that we can also attract people who are also vulnerable, who feel safe to open up. Okay. We've got trust your own understanding. Trust your own understanding. And then we have keep your dreams alive. So I certainly feel like spirit saying here, you know, what you want, what you desire is something that you are worth having something that you are worthy of. And if you do, right, you are someone who desires love, desires connection. Um, don't lose sight of that. Don't settle for less. Okay, don't settle for less. If if and especially for those of you where you're, you're giving all your love and all your time and all your energy to someone who's doesn't even see it doesn't value it isn't opening arms to you in the same way that you are with them. You know, like I said, for some of you, this might mean you moving away from that. Don't give up on that vision of the love that you desire. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pile 3. So those of you that resonate with the Phosphiterite Tart, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out the, about the next chapter of your love life. Okay, so I'm going to save. And you guys actually got an extra Oracle card than the other groups. So we're going to save these for the end. And then we're going to see... Okay, so we have the wild man <laughs> for your first card. The wild man. Let's do these little ones. Okay, so we have sweet pea and it says blissful pleasure. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. So this sounds like there's blockages that are being cleared here in this next chapter for you. We also have the ocean, the candle, cast away negativity, detox. Okay. So lots of clearing here. I'm noticing that even across the piles, the message has been about clearing. Nine of pentacles. The Nine of Swords. What is this? The Two of Swords? The Four of Swords in reverse. And the Seven of Cups. Okay. Oh, 
All right here. So let's see what is happening for you. The next chapter of your love life. Hmm. I mean, I am seeing the nine of pentacles here. Okay, so for some of you, and I do want, just going into this reading, I want you all to keep in mind that you are in control of, I feel like, what you allow into your life, okay? And the steps that you take to change the outcomes of what you experience in your life, depending on, you know, what, what you choose to do. Okay, with anybody or even for those of you that are single, there is because this is also dependent upon, you know, whether or not you're open to dating, whether or not you are, you know, have an ongoing situation or you're trying to get out of a situation. So a lot of this is dependent upon the choices that you make. Okay, so I'm going to try to give kind of different scenarios for those of you that are completely single, nothing or nothing going on. Those of you who are kind of involved, but maybe not committed. And then those of you that are in a commitment, in a marriage, in a long-term relationship. Okay. Now we have detox here is the first thing I'm noticing. Detoxing and cast away negativity. Now for some of you, this can be taking a little, this next chapter can be taking a little bit of a detox in terms of your love life, meaning that with the Nine of Pentacles being here, that's about being single, independent, um, f you know, feeling a sense of autonomy. So for some of you, this might look like this next chapter of your love life is you are doing a love detox. You're spending some time on self and really working towards, mm, I feel like stabilizing for some of you, your mental state. Okay, because we have the nine of swords energy here, which is a lot about a lot about anxiety, worrying, stressing about future. Um, and so I'm feeling like you could certainly be spending some time resting, healing, reflecting, detoxing, maybe from a person, maybe from a situation, trying to put yourself back into a place of stability, right? Um the seven of cups here can also talk about, you know, options, choices, visions, dreams. Um, so you can certainly be taking some time to think alone. Okay. For some of you alone, alone time, um, regardless of what your situation is, you could be working towards detoxing the self, right? Your own negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative emotions, where you're Yeah, I feel like working on the self here, okay? And for some of you, this might look like detoxing from a whole situation that you've got going on with somebody. Now, some of you that are, I would say, involved, already married, already in a relationship with someone, um, I don't know. Some of you may have been toying with the idea of separation, of or you maybe you could be going through a separation or divorced or going through that whole process or maybe wanting to get out of a situation. You know, maybe this means that you're working through all of the anxiety surrounding doing that, maybe preparing for that change. Okay. Now, those of you that are single and there's not really anything going on with anybody, I would say, again, this is more or less you're focusing on yourself. You're clearing your own energy negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative emotions, maybe working towards releasing a lot of the mental stress or anguish that you might feel about when is love going to happen for me? Why hasn't it happened yet? Um, to the point where you could be draining yourself mentally. Okay. Um, you know, some of you could certainly be exploring the depths of your own feelings, your own emotions here. Um, I want to look at actually the three of these, the candle, the ocean, and also the wild man. So we're going to first see, what is that? 53. That's the wrong one. 53. Mm. Okay. So the candle says it's about a spark of energy, the intellect, light, warmth, 
human spirit and also illumination. Illumination. So maybe for some of you, this next chapter of your love, love life looks like you spending time. Also, I feel like detoxing the mind. Okay, especially if you're a person who's an overthinker, you stress yourself out by the maybe negative thoughts or overthinking, overanalyzing things. Maybe there's light being shed on you're doing that. And you could be certainly working on the self here. Okay. Mm. Some of you might also be detoxing from a person who is not wanting a commitment because we do also have maybe for some of you dealing with the person who has anxiety surrounding commitment and you could be taking a step back from this person. Okay. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. So some of you might be discovering in this next chapter that if there are certain walls or certain blockages with certain paths, right, that you're trying to go down maybe with certain people, that you that maybe that is something that's being illuminated for you. Okay? Where you decide to, for some of you, move away from that person or that situation here. You know, especially if there's a person who's kind of making you feel like you're an option. Okay? But I'm getting this as a lot of calming energy here, especially with the dandelion. Okay, let's see what this ocean is about. Ocean. Deep feelings and emotional depth. There is more to explore and learn on an emotional level. This may also refer to someone who is a water sign. So maybe some of you are dealing with a water sign here. Deep feelings and emotional depth. So this may even be looking within your own feelings, your own emotions. Um, let's see what this wild man is. He might be all the way at the end with a W. I don't even think this book is in alphabetical order, so we might have to go back to the front and see the wild man. Okay, there it is, 181. What does this have to do with? I mean, some of you, maybe there is a wild man coming towards you. Um, okay. So this is about self-discovery. Free spirit. Mentor. It says the wild man card symbolizes a rite of passage. It is a journey of self-discovery and summons you to examine who you really are. This may mean that you explore aspects within yourself that haven't been felt or seen in some time. This is your instinctual wildness, which can ref offer you renewal and wisdom. This archetype asks that we go deep into the woods to explore our wildness. The forest is a symbol of the shadow. There was a time when people believed that it held dark and evil energy because they didn't completely understand what lived within the woods at the edge of town. It was where their resources came from, but most people didn't venture deep into them, especially at night. The woods are an appropriate place to examine our subconscious and to develop a deeper connection and awareness of our primitive nature. In the wild, we are capable of accessing our emotions. Interesting, because it's talking about emotions too. And leaving behind the baggage of the modern world. It's a good setting to stir the pot and unpack our burdens. Detoxing. What needs to be recovered? This card suggests we bring it to the surface to be seen and honored. There is an opportunity for a transformation when you encounter your shadow. Don't fear the discomfort of facing this most intimate part of yourself. Now, I will want I want to keep in you guys to keep in mind. Now, this is spirit saying this next chapter of your love life is going to look like you clearing, detoxing, clearing away negativity. Now, this is something, especially for those of you that are married and you're happily married or in a long-term relationship and you're happy there, you can certainly do this work while you're in a relationship, okay? You don't have to be single to do it, but I feel like you might be kind of shifting your focus inwards where you're really working on yourself. And maybe that is showing up as a better version of yourself with your current partner for those of you that are committed, okay? 
but I feel like this is kind of exploring the depths of your own emotions, maybe illuminating certain things that you have to let go of or release. Maybe some of you could be recognizing where you are an overthinker or you do st stress out too much. Um, and maybe your anxiety could be something that creates issues sometimes in a relationship. I know mine has in the past. My anxiety and worrying has been a problem <laughs> in my past relationships. It was, it was a big problem. And I had to really learn how to get it under control because it could certainly create a lot of, you know, reading too, into things too much, too deeply, and just getting it all mixed up in my head, you know, from past relationships that I've had. So it's a, it's a big lesson, you know. So we can certainly be looking at our own negative thoughts with that energy here. Okay. Um, what else does the wild man say? It says, there is an opportunity for transformation when you encounter your shadow don't fear the discomfort of facing this most intimate part of yourself. Many men, for example, have been taught from youth to hide behind a mask of logic and emotional detachment because real men must not show their pain. As a result, they have been unable to properly harness certain emotions. However, we are live. Wow, this makes me feel maybe some of you in this next chapter of your love life could even be dealing with a person who is maybe a little bit afraid, okay, of, of really opening up their feelings and their emotions. And they could be the one who's also working towards releasing and clearing. I mean, this could even be something that you illuminate for someone to say, hey, I've noticed that. And of course, you know, think about whether or not that's appropriate for you to do that, because sometimes people don't like that. But <laughs> Um, if you feel guided to by spirit and you're doing it from a place of <clears throat> not really judging someone and making them feel like you're, like you're criticizing them and putting them down and pointing fingers like, Hey, you're like this, just doing it in a very loving, safe, you know, showing empathy, you know, reassuring per the person and doing it in that way and kind of shedding light with encouraging say the person to kind of open up a little bit more but that is by you also keeping your energy grounded and balanced that you're making the person feel that it's okay right for me to open up but yes yeah, certainly some of you could be dealing with a person in this next chapter of your love life that is a little bit guarded maybe or has a difficult time with expressing feelings emotions um, and maybe, you know, for you, it could be a need for to just kind of let go of the overthinking, right? You might be thinking, okay, maybe this person doesn't like me. Maybe they, you know, they're, and kind of getting into your head a little bit to the point where it kind of makes things between the two of you uneasy. So some of you can also be shifting away from certain patterns of behavior, really working on creating a sense of independence and autonomy from someone, but also, you know, maybe this means you being more comfortable with expressing your feelings, your emotions um, in that way as well. Um, let's see. This card may also be announcing a mentor. Wow. That is coming into your life. He is connected to his inner wild nature and is wise to the ways of the world. He is a nature lover, an environmentalist or ecologist. He does not live by the ordinary rules of daily life. So some of you, this could be someone that you're meeting here. He's a nonconformist and someone you can connect with and learn from. Are you this trusted mentor? Be open to assist someone. Your free spirit and wisdom are gifts. The wild man oracle may further suggest that you get support from people of a like mind. Perhaps plan a nature outing to explore your wild self. Okay, so some of you might you know, certainly be connecting with somebody who, who embodies that type of energy, regardless of their gender. Okay. What else do I want to clarify? I feel like, hmm, I think I want to look at the seven of cups a little bit. Okay. So what is going on with this seven of cups here, spirit? The death card. So this is certainly change, transformation that you're undergoing in this next chapter of your love life. It might even be a person who's changing. Okay. If you're currently dealing with someone, this person changing, transforming. We have the queen of pentacles. 
Hmm. Some of you can be dealing with a Scorpio. We've got the Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Now, again, we've got messages here. For some of you, if you are in a relationship that you are not happy in, okay, for some of you in this next chapter of your love life, I am seeing that you could be choosing to walk away or end something, detach from someone, and start new, okay? Now, some of you, this may mean, I feel like if you are single here, I feel like this could be you disconnecting or detaching from past people, past situations. You're starting new and you're coming in with a more grounded energy. There's also a lot of stabilizing your own energy here, which is important. Okay, if we're wanting to attract, draw in healthy, balanced, stable, secure, we're also needing to embody that energy. So yeah, for some of you, this can be a lot of uh, inner work, self-love, self-care, um, embodying a more stable and secure energy within the self, which can certainly help when attracting right in partners who match that frequency of energy okay and some of you might even be um meeting and connecting with somebody new for some of you this might even look like a friendship that develops into a serious relationship okay and there may be a sacrifice there with i'm getting for some of you this could be movement into a commitment Okay, but there certainly looks like there's some things to kind of work through here for either you, them, someone here. Some of you could have even had uh, been left in a state where somebody chose to walk away from your connection. Um, not able to really commit here. For some of this next chapter of your love life could actually be that this person kind of through their own transformation here comes towards you with an offer here to uh, give you something more solid. Okay. All right. Let's look at these last uh, messages here. We have celebrate differences. Okay. So those of you that do, right, in this next chapter of your love life, do get involved. Maybe for some of you, this might mean that this person is maybe very different from you. Maybe this could mean different uh, values, different belief systems, uh, maybe cultural differences, religious differences. And instead of, I feel like instead of kind of like nitpicking each other or, uh, you know, maybe looking at the other person and like, why doesn't this person think the way that I think? Or why don't they, it's, it's more or less you kind of embracing the differences between the two of you. Okay, celebrating them versus putting them down or, you know, whatever that may be. And just kind of really opening up to the differences between you and them. Or for those of you that are going to be, you know, dating in this next chapter of your love life, opening yourself up, then it's kind of celebrating the differences that you have within yourself from other people. Instead of feeling like there are certain aspects of yourself that you have to hide or that you cannot be your authentic self. This is you meeting and connecting with people who do celebrate your differences, who are like, wow, you're so, you're so different. You're so uh, unique. Like, this is cool, right? Versus a person who's like not accepting that about you, you know? So I like this. This is, this is a beautiful energy. Um, we have be willing to express love. It says express love to receive love. Okay, interesting that we have the similar little shell here too. I can pick this up. What are they called? Conscious? I forgot what they're called. But those little, well, actually, they're quite big. Those shells here. Okay, so be willing to express love, express love to receive it. So this may mean you also, right, getting comfortable with expressing your feelings, your emotions, and letting go of your own fears and anxieties surrounding doing so. Okay. Um, 
Because some of you too, you know, you might be kind of the one who's afraid of commitment, afraid of opening up, afraid of getting hurt, you know, so you can learn a lot about yourself again through that energy of self-discovery. But I love this because to me, this next chapter of your love life looks like you being more comfortable with the authentic you and letting go of those parts or aspects of yourself that are not truly who you are. Okay. We have a spiritual connection coming in for you. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So those of you that don't have this right now okay there's nobody that you have a spiritual connection with this can certainly be a spiritual connection that you do have coming in in this next chapter of your love life so be willing to express love be open to receive it right and the way that we prepare ourselves energetically to receive it is to also be secure in our own energy maybe that does mean a lot of you know detoxing like i said for some of you from love taking a step back working on yourself um and then we have catch your breath. So yes, I'm definitely getting for some of you, this is taking a pause, taking a little pause, taking a little break, catch your breath. Maybe for some of you, if you're serial daters, okay, and you go from connection to connection to connection from relationship to relationship, and there's no in between breathing time where you get to really allow yourself that time to be single and to actually work on yourself, actually heal uh, do some inner child work, do some shadow work. So yes, yeah, some of you could be catching your breath literally here. Okay. Or, you know, even if you're like in a situation where it's like hot and cold off and on, you know, back and forth and you're just like spirits, like stop, <laughs> stop for a moment, right? Catch your breath, ground yourself. Is this something that we want to continue on with? Um, is there something that we're holding on to right now that is toxic? Maybe for some of you, that can be something that's being illuminated here for you. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this is helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading.